Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got the Aurora from LBLA. It actually looks totally differently boxed than it normally is from LBLA. And it doesn't actually say LBLA on the box. But that's what it says it is. So as you can see, very much a Mavic visual type of drone. It's got a 720p camera that's adjustable by your finger and it virtually goes down, which is strange for one of these. Never seen one go that far down before. So it's 720p, it records to your phone, it hasn't got an SD card, it has an SD card slot, but you can probably see inside. It's completely blank in there. It's got LEDs front and back. It has brushless gear driven motors. And this is the controller. So, I actually like the controller a lot. It looks a bit strange compared to the, this normal type of drone's controller. So on here you've got headless mode, return to home, turn your lights on and off, uh, camera button, which you long press and short press for video and take off and land buttons. This is your trim for that control and then you've got three speed rates on this switch and 3D flips. You'll see from the video that uh, I'm going to put up at the end that obviously I've shown you how the flips work and you can tell when I've changed the speed mode because it's quite obvious. comes with this phone holder. Now these phone holders actually look cheap but they're actually excellent because they'll hold your phone really tightly and you get a decent sized phone in them. So they just, that just flips in the back. It comes with a cover over there so if you haven't got it, if you don't want to use it you've got a nice cover that goes on there. It does come with prop guards and two spare propellers and charger. It runs on a 900 milliamp hour 1S battery. It's the same battery as the Vizio, I believe. I haven't tried to put it one in, but I believe it is. Uh, and that just obviously slots in the back. Like that, and then you've got an on and off switch under here. And then... On and off to bind it. There you go. Now, when I flowed this just now, one of the LEDs has stopped working. It doesn't affect it flying in any way, shape or form. I'm going to take the cover off that in a minute. It's probably just a bad connection. Um, but it was working absolutely fine before then. So the LEDs, you can turn them on and off. So you've got a button uh, on your transmitter here, this button here. And if I flick this button... I don't know if you can see that very well. You can see it turns them on and off. It weighs about 56 grams, just shy of I think. It flies very similar to a Vizio. However, I will say this, I think it's quicker. This seems quite lively when you change its speed modes. I was very impressed how quickly it went. It flew very, very nicely. For a light drone, it flew nicely. There's very little wind today, a couple of miles an hour. You're going to see from the video footage from the camera, it doesn't look the best. Now these drones tend not to but it's not really a fair comparison today because you'll see how misty it is because I've had to wait for a break in the weather to actually fly so it, you're gonna have to give it a bit of bit of a give on that one because I don't think it's gonna be great but I they never have on these are but from its flying characteristics it's nice it's quick it's lively it's very visual <laughs> if I can't really I'm I'll be struggling to tell the difference between flying both of them to be fair. It looks very similar, it flies virtually the same. I like this controller. I don't actually like the Vizio controller that much, the little game style controller. I prefer this one. It's still not obviously not hobby grade, but I like the sticks are longer and it just feels a bit better to me in my hand. So I do like the controller and I do like the drone itself. As I say, the camera won't be the best. So this is available from Amazon, this is another one I got from Amazon and like I said I'm going to do a few from Amazon. The reason I buy the odd one from Amazon is you can buy them next day delivery, you've got the guarantee that if something's wrong with it you can just send it straight back. Unlike buying from Gearbest, Banggood, GeekBuying.com, all these people are in China, it's difficult to send things back, at least you're covered here. You do pay a bit more for the privilege, so this is £45 currently, it's £49.99 but there is a £5 discount with it to make it £45. Uh, and it's available on Prime. It's probably worth the money, just about at that. If you can buy it cheaper, it's great. If you can get this for mid-30s, 
it'd be a no-brainer because as I say it flies very similar to the Vizio or you could just buy the Vizio the choice is yours but you obviously from the flight footage I'm gonna put up see what you think to it but yeah another nice little flyer I do like the things I bought from LBLA I think that they seem to be decent and I like the fact I get them next day and they're nice and easy for me to review and if I do have a problem I'll just send it back like I could just send that back for the light but I probably won't I'll probably just fix it myself but thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day